at the end of the last season, you said that you wanted to drop 20 pounds. Did you accomplish that? <laughs> uh, no, I actually dropped 15. Uh, I got about five more to lose, but it's not really a concern because I feel good about myself. And uh, I'm just trying to really get in the full quarter shape right now. So I'm going to use training camp to get in tip top shape to take it to another level. Are you at a weight that you feel comfortable with? Oh, yeah, I'm very comfortable. Uh, I feel light. I feel good. So, you know, it's no concern. Do you think that uh, the losing, losing your, uh, the extra weight will keep the issues of your feet contained? Uh, yeah, I think so, but uh, just more importantly, I just had to do, get some rest, so that helped a lot, but, you know, hopefully it won't be a problem this season. Hopefully I could keep my weight down and that won't be a factor either. What did you learn from playing with Big Al? What did I learn? Besides, he the man with a million moves. Um, I just learned that you don't have to have a left hand to know how to score the basketball. Um, he used one hand all the time and nobody could stop him. He got a lot of moves. I learned, you know, just a lot of post stuff from Al. I took a lot from his game. You know, I learned a lot from him. I can't even front. Do you still remain in contact with him? Yeah, I still call him. That's my man, my main man. I mean, friendship haven't left nowhere, so we still partners. How's he doing? Oh. How's he doing, Big Al? Oh, he's doing good. Um, I think he adjusted well. You know, when I talked to him, he told me he was uh, trying to take over the, the team. You know, they want him to come and be a they franchise player. So uh, hmm. I told him he got to handle this business. You know, uh, don't look back and just keep moving forward. I'm in his corner at all times. I always going to be his friend, and that's never going to change. You plan on uh, beasting on him when he comes? I just plan on playing a little D. I ain't going to talk too much, but I'm excited about playing against him when we do play. Are you uh, looking forward to going to Europe? Uh, I'm all right about it. Some people are extra excited, but it didn't really excite me like that. I mean, we just going overseas to play basketball. Same thing we do here, so it have not really excited me or, you know, like nothing like that. Have you ever been there before? Ever been where? Europe. Uh, no, I've never been to Europe. Does the fact that you're still on the Celtics while most of your teammates from past seasons are gone show that Danny Ainge really believes in you? Yeah, I, uh, it got to. I mean, I've been, I didn't made it through a lot of trades for the last four years. I didn't been here, so you know, for them showing me that you know they got faith in me. I mean, I'm just trying to take advantage and not take this situation for granted. In the past, you said that uh, you wanted to be a leader for this team. Now that there are three superstars on the team, how can you establish leadership without stepping on people's toes? Well, actually, that leadership was bought when we had young guys. Now I'm one of the young guys, so I'm really just trying to follow the leader. So last year was a lot different. I was just one of the older, mature guys on the team that I had to try to you know show a little leadership but this year I don't have to do that so you know I just gotta stick to my role. <laughs> uh, you and Kevin Garnett have had some words in the past is that going to affect the way you two communicate on the court at all? Nah we real cool nah that's gone that was just playing basketball um, Kevin actually is a great guy real cool guy uh, fun to be around uh, I'm telling you fun to play with real exciting guy. Does it uh, make you angry that you were ranked the worst center in the Eastern Conference? Does it make me angry? Nah, not really. I don't, I don't care about rankings. Uh, I just know my role. I just know what I need to do coming out into uh, next season and just handle my business. Does the fact that many people are saying that this team needs a true center motivate you? Well, I haven't heard all the rumors, but uh, it's been motivated. I mean, with you got three Hall of Famers, you know, they gonna say it unless another all-star go come in here, they gonna keep saying it. They said the same thing about the Spurs, but they won it last year. How do you go about preparing for the man you're going to guard? Do you scout out the player by watching tape or? Yeah, I scout them out, uh, scout them, watch, watch film, talk to coaches about them, and then leave everything else on the court. Uh, what's hard, who's harder for you to guard? A beefier center like Eddie Curry or a quick center like Chris Bosh? Uh, it might be a quick a quick center, but it, 
Off the block is where I have trouble. So anywhere off the post, as far as facing me up, I have trouble guarding. And so a dirty Nowinski would give me problems. Did uh, Doc talk to you about shooting 12 foot jumpers when open during the uh, off season? Yeah. Do you think that you're capable of uh, consistently making them? Yeah, I can make them. That's all I did this summer was work on my jump shot. Uh, but uh, I'm going to shoot it when it's there. Remember, we got three other options now, so, you know, I'm going to just shoot it when it's my time. Do you think that you're uh, more naturally inclined to play the power forward if KG winds up moving to the five spot? Huh? <laughs> if KG winds up moving to the five spot, would you be okay playing the four? Yeah, it's the same thing in our offense. The five and four really don't make a, a difference. I mean, it's the same. Both, I mean, really, they play the same spot, so it's not a big difference. Uh, what haven't people seen out of your game yet? I don't know. I mean, I just don't. I don't know what people. I, I don't know what people know about me. But my thing is, I'm not gonna talk this season. I'm ready. I know uh, a lot of people gonna be watching the Celtics. It's gonna be my time to do what I do. All right. Uh, what do you think of the rookies? They great. All of them smart, intelligent guys. Already kind of true professionals. Um, and always willing to learn. They always listening, so that's another good thing. Who will make the biggest strides out of the young guys this year? Uh, if I had to pick somebody, I would like to say Brandon Wallace. I'm a fan. He led his conference in block shots. I think he's an underrated guy, and I really like him. On this team, only Paul Pierce has been with the Celtics longer than you. Do you plan to show the new guys around Boston before the season starts? Yeah, I'm going to try to do a little something, but... Uh, I ain't gonna do too much. You know, a lot of guys stay downtown, the new guys, so, you know, they pretty much stay in the city for themselves. But uh, if they ask me, I don't, I don't have a problem. Uh, what do you honestly think of this team? Can we go all the way and win a championship? Um, yeah, we can. I think uh, we got the talent to. Uh, so we're gonna come together with the chemistry. I don't know, we have to see in the games, but uh, right now, we just got to give credit to Washington, Detroit, Cleveland. They the teams to beat in the East. So we got in Miami. We got to get past them first before we can think about the championship. Great. And at the end of the year, are you going to make sure that everybody knows that Perk is a beast? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, before the end of the year, I'm gonna make my presence known. But like I said, I don't like to talk, so I'm just gonna let it speak.